Hello, and welcome back to Stellar Blade. Get it! Oh wait, damage is it? Ugh. Tumblr expansion module though. Fell with that ladder then that we saw. Which is where we're wanting to head. Um, I did check down this way, didn't I? I did not. I got a bit further. Right. Up we go. Maybe we can finally get into that weird parking lot thing that we couldn't earlier. It's that time thing there. No, oh, the clock. You know where the clue to the password was. The time and so on. Right. And we have a camp. We're just beginning to need one. So I'm happy enough to see that. Bunch of skill points for the boss. We charge more energy when an attack lands. And get even more when we do a successful perfect parry. Certainly moving along in that. Uh, skill tree already. Engaging enemies, those insect bastards are coming at us, I can't, there's no end to them, they're breaking through the defence line, hurry and evacuate the citizens, please survive. Should we head down again? No, just follow the path and go straight. Oh, here we are. We've come quite far. How what much was this obsession with them making these massive statues? We just have to pass that sewage facility. There must be a way to get across. We can build ourselves a bridge if we use that crane. Nice cool tech coming off of it. Hmm. Anyway. I've seen a movie like this. It was a film with a predictable storyline about mankind winning against alien monsters that invaded Earth. At the start of the movie, the monsters slaughtered humans left and right. Even armed soldiers aren't capable of doing anything until the main character appears. We're playing the role of those soldiers. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Annoyingly, you can ambush enemies that haven't activated yet. Oh, 
gotcha. You git. Right. He is very dead. Okay, what we got in here? Ooh, Omnibolt. Very nice. We've got some new gear we can equip. Lots of stuff around here, isn't there? Didn't count that time. Right. Toss it. Right. Very nice. Okay. They're both aware. Right, first heal used. Codename Gigas has finally been sighted. Sharing coordinates now. For reference, it's stronger than any Natiba we've encountered so far. Team Athena, get ready to head to the operation site. I'm guessing with a name like Gigas, they're going to be pretty big. <laughs> The Giga Nativa. Dun dun dun. There we go. You're new. I don't like the new. I, yeah, I don't like new. New is bad, new is scary. Yeah, that's an enemy.
Gotcha. Right. Scan shows. Not a whole lot, actually. This should be good. <clears throat> So we've got an ID card for the crane. Presumably we're going to be wanting to use that. There's usually a fast way down here. In these scenarios, isn't there? I'd rather not just jump off here. It would probably take a lot of damage doing that. And... I think there's some items down there. Somewhere. Just through there, there's a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure how to get there, but... using the crane it's not working hmm. but there is power that's strange oh we need an ID card if we want to operate which we have three of them actually oh if the ID cards are needed for the crane then they should be nearby I'll look for the closest one first We've still got one heal left, so... So we've already got two skill points ready to go. Okay. Quick trip up here. We'll get this next um, next ID card. And once we've got that... I wasn't even holding down L1 then, it just did it. <laughs> I'm sure it does it if you still, even if you've let go of a button, if you're still coming out of the block animation. I'm sure it still uses powers. Oh dear, it's one of these. So those are 
bloody dangerous, right? And now all the enemies will have respawned. Wonderful. Right. That one specifically has to die. did when we went up to him ambush yeah so you walk up and yeah triangle prompt comes up so he classifies as being in combat because they were waiting in ambush even though we snuck behind him what about this one Anyway, right now that that one's dead. What? What is this? It doesn't seem useful, but it looks intriguing. What is this? But does the whole pause and everything? Collect cans. You can discover hidden cans by exploring different places around the world. Good things might happen when you collect a certain number of cans. <laughs> okay. Weird. Where's that enemy that killed us up here anyway? Yeah, we swung up here before. We killed the enemy. And went up here. Was he on a different floor? Oh, I remember now. We'll just miss that jump, don't worry about it. Right, it's here. They are really annoying. Highly dangerous, aren't they? Right. Just one more. Hmm. And if I remember, there's stuff galore over there inside that building 
which we should go and collect. Yeah, okay. I guess there's the fast way down. <laughs> um, look at our skill settings. What have we got? Um, more base energy on a successful assault or ambush. Uh, base chain. Bit energy recharge, we'll do that. Okay, what have we got as well? Um Ooh god, pardon me. Ooh. That's because I drunk a big mug of tea just before starting, that is. Right. So where's the final one of these? It's the lift that goes to the upper floors. We need power to make it move. Hmm. How to power it on, eh? Gotcha. Actual ambush. It wouldn't be as easy as this is the thing, would it? <laughs> oh, here we go. This is what I've been training for in Helldivers. <laughs> this moment. Lovely, right. Tetra Insight type extra exospine. Okay. I'm guessing that one's a more defensive one. Damage received decreased by 10%. Shield protection level increases by uh, 1 at maximum. Has a chance to restore HP for 5 seconds while guarding or parrying. On HP is 20% or less. I think from the looks of it, yeah, receive the engineer's help to unlock exospine sockets. So we can get a second one. So we're going to say, it looks like here, there's slots for two there, isn't there? If you look at the graphic on the right. 
Yeah, we can eventually get more gear, of course. I wonder if we can increase the... Yeah, I wonder if we can level these up or improve them. goes and then she died wow. what a view I wonder what it looked like before the war <laughs> what do you think it looked like well probably upright buildings well manicured flora and living people. That's it? You have no imagination. Then again, I guess you've never been here before. Imagine bustling streets, crystal clean air, and people smiling everywhere you look. Have you ever seen something like that before, Adam? Yes. A long time ago. We don't really need the rest. <laughs> nice. Now use them on the panel. Oh, got here then. Isn't fear a result of consciousness of oneself? Does that mean they're not alive? Where did the nanobi, uh, the natibas come from? Why are they attacking humans? It seems as if they're carrying out orders and engraved into their instincts. from them. Right. Okay, this is basically a clear area now. she eventually jumps onto this there we go <laughs> we're off Dodging slightly wrong way when I get hit by that. Like I'm pressing the prompt, but I'm dodging left. When to activate it, you have to dodge forwards. Right. I need to get back to that central camp, I guess. Activate the crane. Right.
I'll be honest. Not really sure what I'm doing here. Let's go to where you placed the structure. Let's have a look from here. So I'm trying to... Yes, yeah, so I want to get from here... Over to there. Also, before I go, I probably want to check out that set of buildings over there. Right. Okay. That should probably work. Um, let's have a look through here then. Ooh. Tumblr expansion module. in a way I was going to try and ambush. Never mind. Get. Oh, I hear the noise. There's definitely a uh, fallen android around here, which we can get a paw from. So the wall looked weak and I was thinking maybe that's our ticket in but no
That's the question, isn't it? How do I actually get up there? I'm not sure if I can yet. I'm wondering if it's going to take, um, what's it like, a double jump ability or something. Okay. Yeah, I think this might be an area to get to later. I don't see an easy way in. Unless, and I suppose it's a possibility. What if I'm supposed to move the... Yeah, okay. Maybe I move the crane over there. That could work. Jump. Ah. Can it go any lower? It needs to be a smidge lower. things there but it might be enough there we are well hello there Gimme that core. <laughs> mm. More max HP if we get that done, so that's an important one to have got. I bet the ones that we've passed up until now were probably gettable as well, weren't they? Got the TB reaction detected. It was uh, it's all as planned. We'll lower them into a single area. Plan failed. Run. Okay. What do we have here as well? Vit coins. I mean, let's be honest, Vit coin. 
It's got to be like a little nod from the developers about Bitcoin or something, hasn't it? Gotta be. Got looks fancy. A crimson tear. Or is it a crimson tear? I think it mentioned jewelry, so it's probably a tear because it'll be tear shaped in there. Anything above? That looks to be everything. <laughs> Right, that should work. Should work. Okay, um... Right, we're getting all the beta energy now. Attack power increased. Rechargeable tumbler count increased. Oh, I bet the tumbler is the uh, HP uh, portions we have, isn't it? Mm. We get some extreme nano nano elements. We can max out our chain type exospine. For now, we'll swap things out a bit. Okay. Adam, I have a question. What is it? The hypercell. If it's sustained the Hall of Records until now, it must be a huge source of energy. Yes. Even compared to a fusion cell. Then where are you planning to use this energy? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. But I can explain more when you come back. Understood. Loud and clear. Well, we've got another shop as well, because I'm carrying like 12 grand. Like, how much are these? Well, they're a fair few hundred each. I'm 
can only carry so many it looks like of each with the others going into uh, storage right to get the to get the exospine extreme nano extreme nano elements that's what's needed before we run over to there Just before we run over, I want to just check and this guy. Yep, is up. I'm wondering how I can get through here. <laughs> hmm. So there's definitely something over there. Scan is showing something over that way. More crates all the way in the distance. I'm just wondering how the hell I can get over there. Nothing to climb on, is there? No. So we've had a few areas like this now where we can see them on the scans but we just can't get to them. I'm just wondering if they're there for a particular reason or if they're just maybe red herrings to try and throw us off a bit. Unless can we climb on this scaffold going there maybe or no no nothing to do with some weird paneling with a red light on nope okay I guess it's a mystery for another time then <laughs> right well then in that case we'll head back to the camp Right.
But yeah, I don't see any... Anything leading over. In that direction. Did we miss that on the way in? Ow. treasure inside. We ought to be able to open it with the drone's hacking tool. I think it needs an upgrade first, though. Beam, let's look for the modules to upgrade the drone. I'm locked up tight, but the hacking tool should get it open before you know it. I think that confirms to me that it's intended that we come back to some of these areas. Yeah. I think that's just the long and short of it. There will be areas that we won't be able to get to everything. And we're just going to have to live with that. Like at some point we need to go back to that first area and deal with the flooding. Get the cave unflooded. And, uh, well not cave unflooded, sorry, that, like, set like that plaza unflooded. That had a load of goodies in under the bottom of the water. <laughs> right. I think that'll do it for now, though. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Stellar Blade, and I will see you next time, where we'll be going across that crane bridge. I'll see you then.